Yeah, Word. I mean, I mean, you know, the wolf pack. Y'all said a trend like you mentioned the hyphy thing, you know, and y'all was, y'all was right a part of that 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 season, that era right there where you know things got to moving and, and, and people started uh, recognizing and, and and putting focus on on the bay, watching the bay. You know, we could talk about it all day. You know, it, it's so, it's so much stuff. I mean, even the impact you doing now as a solo artist. I mean, uh, I, I mean personally, uh, just you know, looking at bloggers and, and and people who comment on websites. You know, people got a lot of uh, mixed emotions about you, but you know what? You you moving in uh in a good direction is what I see. You know, you got the you got the base world. Uh, Paradise. I'm coming, cool. And, and thank you, bro. And and that's the thing, cause like if I spit this acapella, now let's spit some acapella just paradise. I'm gonna tell you, I've been listening, bro. <laughs> I've been thank listening you, to it, thank and 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 you, and, and you know thank what? You. Won't you hit me with that uh that PSA, man? That drug dealer. Mm, okay. I said, welcome to the dope game. Keep playing seats for the hate. Sell you X pills and little cocaine. I told the drug dealers, y'all should be ashamed. Huh. Welcome to the dope game. They keep planting seeds for the hate. Sell you X pills and little cocaine. I told the drug dealers, shit, you should be ashamed. That's just the course. You feel me? So, I mean, you know, we, we, we coming from the heart every time, bruh. You know what I'm saying? And I'm learning. I'm learning about the game. A lot of people a lot of people was hating on me because I was really doing it from the hood. A lot of people don't understand how, you know what I mean, the process. And, like, you feel me? Because, like, music for me, I was coming, like, I was listening to music. If it touched me, it touched me because I know the real, like, you know what I'm saying? Being out here, like, you know, I was going out to uh, El Cerrito High, you know what I'm saying? And, like, you know, that was, like, my second half of my life. Uh, like after the Berkeley, so I was like, that's why I feel like I'm from Richmond too, because I had my Richmond side of my life, and like, you know, I was listening to the, um, you know, R.I.P. Uh, Money Gang, you know what I'm saying, my uh, my bro from Money Gang, R.I.P., you know what I'm saying, listen to bro, you feel me, that passed away, listening to him, uh, you know, all the time, man, listening to him, and it's like, you know, listening to Ryder, you know what I'm saying, listening to people, and like, it don't like I, I. It don't matter what kind of quality. Like they, they had all kind of qualities. You feel me? But it's like I didn't listen to it, and uh, it's real quality street music from the heart, bruh. You feel me? That pink slips and mortgages, bruh. You feel me? Like uh, Ryder J. Clyde and uh, Fifty States. You feel me? And I want to say R.I.P. to uh, Pretty Black. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, a lot of people don't know. You know, I seen some things with Pretty Black too. You know he embraced me, you feel me, like, a lot of people don't know, I, you know, I was with Pretty Black Jack, salute, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, just got a chance to be around them, you feel me, when I was coming up, and just, you know, just, they, just, they embraced me and let me hang around them just for a little bit, always positive, you feel me, like, my, my West Coast roots is deep, you know what I'm saying, like, people don't know. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't know. Also, shout out to the Hustlers. Shout out to PK. You know what I mean? That's pushing. You know, shout out to Tracks a Million. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, you know, it's so many, and it gets, you know, and shout out to the Latino West Coast artists, too. You feel me? And the and the Samoan. You feel me? The Pacific Islander. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't, I don't, I mean, I might have sound ignorant saying that or I don't know because I, I don't know races you feel me I don't really pay attention if, if I, I just want to speak for all of them so shout out to the tan the black the white the green the purple you know what I'm saying like west coast though west coast right now because like we know they, that's why it's so special you feel me like you know what I'm talking about right now we know what we got out here the talent all the people that's why I want to tell these people like and you know I've been watching this new West too, like Cookie Money, man. Keep it pushing, keep going. Pooh Heffler, keep going, keep pushing. I'm watching, I see everybody. Like, I salute what y'all doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, filthy, keep going. You feel me? Don't let the streets, don't don't be trapped in the streets before y'all really get y'all blessings. Don't let the streets kill y'all. You feel me? But also know this, if y'all playing the game, I'm, you feel me? Keep playing the game. And, and that's what's exciting. 
that's exciting. But when the game get too deep, you got to know. You got to know if you're playing or you're in it. I'm playing the game. I ain't in it. Because I know I'm not about that. Right. You know what I'm saying? I know my position. Right. And I ain't afraid to and I ain't afraid to put that on the table. That's why, you feel me? Like, that's why I'm respecting and people respect me because it ain't no fun with me. You know what I'm saying? I'm tricking. I put it out there on the table. I love people. I ain't no sucker. We can go. We can. I, I, I'm one man army. I'll go whoever, whoever, the, from the nation, from the world to, to to one person. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's respect. Like, you know, I'm going. I just had a, a long conversation with a uh, Vanessa. You know, salute Vanessa Double XL, head of Double XL. She was giving me just some real game, and uh, <laughs> you know telling me something when she when she was talking to Kanye and just comparing me with Kanye, you feel me, just about understanding that and seeing how I progress. You feel me? And and and, and this bro, bro like you feel me, I can't really speak on all the artists that love me because you know we got music and stuff coming out and like, you know, it's gonna be future business plans. But I'm gonna tell you like this, the top artists, they respect me. And this is before I, I I I even started like this is before, I haven't even done the mainstream run yet. I ain't even signed a deal. I don't got a manager. I don't got a booking agent. I don't, I do this to the next. I got one dude that I rock with. You feel me? That's my partner. You know what I'm saying? And that we we you know he helped me. You know what I'm saying? Day to day, he's been helping me. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I run Lil B. You know what I'm saying? Like I own Lil B, so everything has been on me. From from the starting of my career till now, nobody can take credit for me. That's why, like people talk, like you know, I'm a di- That's why I don't gotta do interviews. That's why I know I'm a different breed. I'm not like these rappers. You feel me? But I love them, and I inspire by them. But it's like me, I'm one of a kind. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't, I didn't have to kiss nobody ass. I had to hustle. I had to hustle to get to a position. You feel me? And now, you feel me, things are starting, you know what I'm saying, people starting to understand. But look, I'm not even on my real run yet. That's what I'm trying to say, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't even on my real run. It's all just been, it's been, this ain't even been. But like I said, I'm like Apple. I already got 10 years planned. I just got to survive it. You know what I'm saying? I got to survive this. But that's why I want my other brothers to survive, too. I need my other rappers Let's get this money. We don't got to tear each other down. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was his brother uh, interview that I think that I was actually listening to. It was over the sickness. It was, um, he was, uh, it was one of DB homies. You know what I'm uh, saying? Like I said. I, Kurt Diggler. Yeah. Yeah, Kurt. You feel me? And, and look, it was Dig, but then it was another one. He locked up. Like, that's what I'm saying. Oh, you talking about Dame Fame. Dang fame, free yeah. dang fame, man. Uh, Paraphernalia to the mob and all that. Yuck mouth, all, Mac, Mac, uh, I mean, Drew Down, all the old school G's over there, man. Yeah, salute to Drew Down, salute to Yuck, free dang fame. Like I say, I'm not, I don't know cases, you feel me? Like, so, I don't like to say free people if they didn't touch them. Nah, they ain't did that. that. I, I, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you know I'm with you. I ain't gonna be screaming no free boo boo if he didn't did something foul. Nah. It's, it's yeah. <laughs> but if you but look, bro, if you solid, cause I know the struggle do you like if you buy the principles, you know what I'm saying? If you bought them principles, if you took it like that's what I'm all about, I'm about principles. That's why I respect G Depp. You know why I respect G Depp? G Depp took somebody life and he told on himself because he couldn't live with that. That's the kind of people I rock. You feel me? They got a heart. You feel me? Like, it's like, hey, bro, you know what I'm saying? He didn't have to do that. He could have been bounced. He could have, you know what I'm saying? Like, he could have, he didn't have to take that time. You know what I'm saying? But he was like, bro, this how real I am. It's, it's on my conscience. That's the kind of person I am. I be having to clean my soul, bro. If, if it ain't real, then I can't really do it.